Hello once again YouTubers, this is Even Ball. It is February 3rd, 2015, and I got a whole bunch of games here for you from the last month. So we'll get started right away. Okay, so let's start off with some of the games that I got this last uh, few weeks. We'll start off with these games I got at uh, Goodwill Outlet. Some PlayStation games. First up is Crash 2 Cortex Strikes Back, and it's got the nice lenticular cover on it. Uh, I have... Uh, previously purchased this game, but no, this one's complete, so I'm really glad to finally get a complete copy of it, and it was very, very cheap. Also, I got Armored Core, a pretty nice little mech game for the PS1, and I got an uh, extra copy of Metal Gear Solid, and this is complete as well. And all three of these discs together were $4 all together, so that was a really good deal. Next up, I got some things at Half Price Books. So we'll start off with the PlayStation version of Dino Crisis. Uh, a long time ago, I did a uh, video where I got the DC version. That version didn't have anything other than the disc. So I'm glad to have the instructions now. Uh, this is only two bucks, so that's a really good deal. And they had some NES games. So let's go right into it with these ones. First up is Zanuck. And it was only $5, and this is a great shooter from Compile. Compile made some really amazing shooters, mostly vertical shooters, and uh, this one is no exception. It's a fantastic shooter that's very well remembered. But that's not the only Compile shooter I got. I also got The Guardian Legend. This one is a game that will always... It appears on a lot of top 10 NES uh, titles lists out there, and uh, it's a fantastic game that's half shooter, half Zelda clone. So it's a very, very, very interesting game. I also got Air Fortress from HAL. A uh, fairly okay game. It's not great, but uh, it's it, I'd say it's pretty under undervalued by a lot of people. It's not a bad game. And one last one, which is Tiny Toons Adventures 2. And I got the uh, first Tiny Toons Adventures game uh, back in a while, a few months ago, but I'm glad to finally get the second one. And it uh, should be fine, just card only. Okay, I also got some PlayStation 2 games, so let's get that started. I found Rune Viking Warlord at uh, Goodwill Outlet. This is only two bucks. Not bad, it's just kind of a an early PS2 game and it looks it, but it's actually a lot of fun. And next one is a big one. Jurassic Park Operation Genesis for the PS2. I almost passed this one up, but uh, it, it turns out this one is pretty expensive. It was only six bucks for me, but uh, it actually goes online for about ten times as much. So that's pretty good. And if you find the Xbox version of this game, by the way, you can't pass that up if you find that for, for a low price because the Xbox version costs even more. It's close to $100 now. So this is a great game. It's a sim-type game where you're trying to create your own Jurassic Park, basically. Very, very interesting. All right, I got some more games here from Value Village and uh, a few different Value Villages, actually. First thing I got, though, is this... Super Mario Brothers Lunchbox. Don't find these too often, although they are somewhat uh, common. They don't go for very much, much online, but uh, it's really cool to get one of these old lunchboxes. And uh, it's a great place to put games, actually. Also, I have a bunch of Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games that I got. Uh, they had a lot of choice ones, so I decided to get a few. First up is... Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls. Uh, a very good remake of the first two Final Fantasy games. Next up, Metroid Zero Mission. And this was only about uh, $8, so that's actually a really good deal for Metroid Zero Mission. And uh, glad to finally get this one. It's a great remake of the original Metroid. And I also got... Sword of Mana, which is also a remake. There are a lot of remakes uh, for the Game Boy Advance. And uh, this is the first Mana game, I believe, and, and it was uh, remade, and it uh, looks great. I also got 
a very interesting Game Boy 16 in 1 uh, game cartridge, about 10 bucks. But uh, it's pretty cool. Plus, it's got Bubble Bow Bobble in it. So, you know, you gotta have Bubble Bow Bobble. I love that game. Alright, enough of that. I also got a PlayStation 2 game, a shooter, right in 3. Legendary Shooter Returns. It's a Hollywood video uh, box, but that's okay. For three bucks, a good shooter is uh, all I really care about. And it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And the last thing I got, uh, this was from a Goodwill outlet from the Big Bins, and this was a PC game called Remission, where you're blasting cancer inside of a person's body. It's very, very odd, but it just looks interesting, so I thought I'd get it. All right, and I got one last game here for the GameCube. Had to get one. Scooby-Doo Unmasked. This was half off, so it was three fifty. I kept finding a lot of GameCube games that were way too much money, and I didn't want to spend that much money. But this was fine, and it's in fair shape, so I thought I might as well get it. These Scooby-Doo games for these Gen 6 systems are actually pretty decent. So uh, I just need one more. I need a Night of 100 Frights, and I should have all the ones for the, uh, for the GameCube. Okay, so just yesterday I got this GameCube at the uh, Goodwill. It is only $10, as you can see right here. And uh, this was a really good deal, as it turned out. Not only does is this a GameCube, but it's also got a uh, Game Boy player below it. And it's got a WaveBird receiver, which I've been looking for for quite a while, and, and they usually go for around 15 to 20 bucks. So uh, it's really nice to get that for $10. But there is one more thing with it. When I opened it up, there was a Super Smash Bros. Melee disc on the inside. So that's a really good deal for $10. That's, you really can't beat that. All right, this was one of the best finds I've had so far this year. It is a TurboGrafx-16, and yes, I got this at a Goodwill outlet of all places. Uh, the place is swarming with uh, resellers, but uh, they just kept looking past this one for some reason. Uh, and I got this for uh, half price off the uh, off the sticker price, so it was only $25, and it came with the the controller and the RF adapter and the official power supply, so it's a really, really good deal for a good TurboGrafx-16, and it's in great shape. Okay, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching.